To celebrate the first year of my beginner DIY ESP Home sensor, I finally managed to get over the air updates for my ESP Home projects. So now you all can get the latest version of ESP Home and keep your sensors up to date with the newest security updates, right from Home Assistant. This applies to my beginner DIY ESP Home sensor and my ultimate DIY ESP Home sensor. And if you're ready, let's go! But before we dive into today's video, let me give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. The 7th PCBWay Design Contest has just started. It's an exciting contest where you can showcase your creativity and innovation in electronics and mechanical design. The contest aims to inspire more people like you to join the electronics community. Participants can win all sorts of prizes, like cash and cool tech gadgets. You have until January 19, 2025 to send your designs. The results will be announced on March 10. If you want to know more, you can go to their website. The link will be in the description. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now, to get this, you need to manually update the firmware of your device to the latest version. You can check what version you have installed by going to Settings, Devices and Services, ESP Home, and select your sensor. You can check the firmware version here. The latest one, with OTA support enabled, is version 2024.12.4. If you are still using a previous version, you need to flash the newest firmware manually one more time. For this, go to my website, and here, based on which project you are using, use the button to flash the latest firmware. In my case, I am using the Ultimate ESP Home Sensor. For this, I am going to go to the right tutorial, and here, select the firmware that you want to use. Select your device, and click Connect. Here, click on the Install button. Then, click on Install. And now, you might need to press and hold the Boot button. Once it started racing, you can release. And then, just wait. After it's finished, just click on Next. And here, we need to configure our wireless again. But don't worry, all the sounds you created will still be here after flashing the new firmware. Now, since we already added this to Home Assistant, we can just click on Skip. And now, if you go to Home Assistant, you can check here that we have the latest version installed. If for some reason your sounds don't load, open the Hidelink app on your phone. Here, connect to the device. And then click on Set on the top right corner. This should refresh the information and your sounds coordinates should appear in Home Assistant. And that's it! Next time a new version of ESP Home is released, you'll get an update notification in Home Assistant for these sensors so you'll get the latest version right away. And just as a precaution, I will only automate the release of new OTA firmware versions. This means that the version that you can manually install on my website will remain on version 2024.12.4, unless it needs an important update. Why is that, you might ask? Well, since this is software and all software inevitably breaks, I want to offer all of you a way to go back to a working firmware as simple as possible. So, in the unlikely event that some change mess up the functionality of the sensor, you can easily go back and keep using the sensor, while I figure out how to fix the issue and release a new update. Also, for all of you that got the access to the YAML file, I added the code to activate the IOTA support, but it's deactivated by default, since I imagine you modified the project to adapt it to your needs. I still included the code so you can enable OT8 support if you wish to create your own OT8 firmware for your specific project. This way, you can also benefit from it. I put together a video for my patrons showing how I automated the entire building process using my main computer. If you are interested in this kind of content and want to see more behind the scenes of my projects, consider joining my Patreon community like all these amazing people. If you can become a member, you can always donate whatever you like using the button on our website. And if you can do that, don't worry, just remember to leave a comment on the video and share it with your friends. We truly appreciate all your support. And if you want help with Home Assistant, you can book a one hour meeting with me so we can take a closer look at your smart home and help you achieve the seamless automation experience based on your needs. 
so you can make your smart home actually help you achieve your goals. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!